Right guys, how's it going? Welcome back. I recently picked up this three-door Mitsubishi Shogun. This is the commercial version, so there are no seats in the back. It's basically a, a four-wheel drive van. It's come in quite handy recently. But anyway, it got me thinking, why don't we see as many three-door four-wheel drives on the roads anymore? During the mid-90s, they were everywhere. Everybody made one. And now, you just hardly see them at all. I always preferred the look of three-door SUVs. They just looked cooler than the long wheelbase version. When I was a kid, my mum had a, a three-door uh, V6 Shogun, and that wasn't uncommon. They were everywhere. I know they're slightly less practical than a long wheelbase 4x4, but a lot of people actually don't need the seats in the back. And with a short wheelbase SUV, you get a car with a great driving position that's very good off-road, that doesn't take up any more space than a, a Ford Focus. So it's easy to park around town. It just strikes me as a win-win. As a Obviously, nobody else thought this because hardly anybody makes them. Cast your mind back 15 or 20 years and there was the three-door Land Cruiser, the three-door Shogun, the three-door RAV4. I could go on, so I will. The three-door HRV, the Isuzu Trooper, the Suzuki Vitara, the Suzuki Jimny, the Monterey, the Cherokee, the Explorer Sport, the Nissan Terrano, the Ford Maverick, the Nissan Patrol, the Land Rover Discovery. They were all available as a three-door. Then you had even rarer things like the old Sanyon Corando or the Lada Neva. And lastly, the Shogun Pinin. And the thing is, these were all cars that I can think of off the top of my head that were available here in the UK. Around the globe, there were many more. By the turn of the millennium, they were slowly starting to get the chop. And by 2021, there are only a couple that spring to mind which are still available. There's the Jeep Wrangler, which has been around since, since D-Day, and the Land Rover Defender 90. Even the popular little Suzuki Jimny has been axed. As a petrol head, I just think that's a pity because they make great utility vehicles. They're excellent for towing, they're much more agile and nimble off-road. Thanks to the shorter wheelbase, they don't bottom out. If you need the extra boot space, you can always fold down the rear seats and then improve the cargo area. And if you must carry passengers, there's still a little boot. On top of that, most of them were four-wheel drive, which meant you could drive through a muddy field or along a, a snowy country road without panicking. Now, I know what you're going to say, the three-door SUV or 4x4 has, has gone through a Darwinian survival of the fittest, and it's failed. They obviously weren't popular, and they obviously didn't sell well, otherwise manufacturers would keep making them. But I don't think it was just dwindling sales figures alone. I think it was also manufacturers trying to slimline the production line and cut costs. You'd think nowadays, when everybody's more conscious of the environment, that they'd be even more popular than they were in the 90s. Because most of the time nowadays, when you see a 4x4 on the road, it's very rare to see more than one or two people inside. So they're towing around a big six, seven or eight seater vehicle for one or two people. It just seems like a bit of a waste. I think if short wheelbase 4x4 suddenly took off again, we'd have more space in car parks, more space on the roads. The other thing to bear in mind is three door 4x4s always seem to fetch a premium on the used market. I was looking at Autostrader today at, at automatic RAV4s. Now you can pick up a 2004 five door RAV4 for about two grand. But I saw a, an 04 three-door automatic RAV4 with low miles on at six and a half. And there's no doubt they'll get it. The prices are just mad. You're paying extra for less, basically. So because the prices of used three-door SUVs are higher, there must be a market there. There's got to be. And I really think now is the time for their revival. Thinking about it, when I bought my Range Rover, had they made a three-door version, I'd have just bought that. The rear seats hardly ever get used. You know, it really would be no big deal to fold one of the front seats to let the passengers climb in. Speaking of which, a couple of years ago, Land Rover announced that they were making a limited run of three-door Vogues. But because they were all going to be hand-built, the cost was about £200,000. Naturally, there wasn't a huge audience for it. So the plans got scrapped. But they did look very nice. It's a pity that never happened. Anyway, if you're watching this and you happen to be the CEO of a large automobile company, then why not bring back the short wheelbase 4x4? I really do think there's an audience for it. And you would have hardly any competition, so the market would be yours, and yours alone. So, thank you once again for watching. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done already. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'll leave the link below. If you've got any comments or questions, then let me know, and I'll do my best to get back to you. So yeah, cheers guys. I'll see you next time.